Welcome back guys to another Mayori Guys Hot Wheels Workshop. Hey, how's it going guys? So, we're back here. I kind of got a, a little bit ahead of uh, myself uh, for doing some customizing on the uh, BMW Fast, Fast and the Furious Eurofast, which is this one. So I started by painting these two. These are metallic red, metallic purple. So now I'm just working on doing the decals on this one. And um, oh, like I said, you know, I got I got me some. Well, I have a whole pack of it, of different kinds of decals. So yeah, it's giving it a different look, as you can see. So. I know that you know usually we I like to watch you know customizers put in the decals and all that's you know they're speeding up the cameras but it does it does take a lot of work a, a lot as you can see every single one you need to put in warm water literally warm water I just caught on to it if you put hot water and a little bit of uh, cold It'll speed up the process and instead of 15 seconds, it's about 10 seconds to remove the, the decal from the car from the cardboard. Um, so this is what we have for now. I still have not. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Um, I don't want to touch it any further because the majority of the stickers that you stick in your hands. So I need to put it right away right now with uh, a clear coat. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this on this and we're gonna just put the clear coat on it. That way the decals can remain there forever. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show you in the end, of, you know, the end of uh, how they look. So we got this one. I also did the Fast and Furious, uh, if you remember the uh, white, I, I chrome this. Uh, this is another process, totally different, okay? Uh, put some black on it first, and you put the silver, and then you'll see. It's a, it's a, it's a surprise that you're going to see what the outcome of this one will be. So, oh yeah, it's going to look cool. So let's get to it and I'll keep showing you. Right now I'm just in the process of keeping the wheels, the original wheels, just painting them a little. Or uh, these are already silver as they are, or black. Or even green. So we'll see. So we already put some cherry coat on that one. So uh, now we're gonna get to work on the purple one. So yeah, we're, meanwhile we wait for it to dry. Um, It'll be ready to be put together. So we'll see. Now we just gotta pick uh, some decals for the purple one. I don't know. What do you think? We still have the option to leave it as, you know, it has uh, glitter on it. So the other one doesn't. So this one has. So I'm considering either leaving the green ones and black ones. Let's see. Like I said, green, black. I don't know. Hmm. Green, I don't think it goes with this one, but what do you guys think? Good thing is that we get to switch wheels anytime we want so you tell me which one looks better all right guys so i'll show you later on how this is the process ends or starts and um yeah just have in mind how it looks plain purple metallic purple and um yeah kind of like uh, the clear coat with the with the glitter it's kind of like a color shifter of some sort so um, let's get to it. So I think we found a donor. You know, this is a main line, Nissan uh, Sylvia. And um, yeah, I, 
I took these wheels off of, uh, I think it's the Falcon Mercedes Benz transporter team. So we're gonna do this. I'm thinking. Okay, so this one's already done. It's been cooking under the sun for almost uh, 35 minutes or so. So, pretty nice and dry. What do you think? So we're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna see if we keep this one. I like the white wheels just because of the fact of the decals. There's a lot of white decals all over. So let's get to it. Let's speed up the process. So one of the ways that I do this is instead of gluing, I do this. And cut the uh, axis. Well, one of the other ways to fix problems like these is by cutting or I don't know if you can see the, the interior of the wheel. This part. Sorry about that. This part right here. Or you still continue trying to get a uh, longer axle which I'm going to try to do one more time so I'm going to cut the end of this one okay Move the wheels Move this one again be careful guys I think you not if you have a uh, protective gear high gear I'll recommend you to wear it because those little uh, ends of the axles which are metal they tend to fly into your eyes okay so be extremely careful how are you I'll just uh, always always wear eye protective gear And if you need help, you're in age or try to get uh, some guidance from an adult. That way they could help you. There we go. Yet, still a bit too tight. And you don't want that. You want the car to roll. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Last chance. There's the cutter. You did the same thing. And obviously, you know, once you're done, once you're done working on your car, axles, whatever, you know, I'll, I would suggest this is what I do. Once I'm done and I have debris, metal debris, shavings from drilling the posts, um, 
the uh, rivets. Um, if I were you, I don't oh, as it can see. We tried. Well, I it seems like I found one from these other donors, but these wheels they came off of. Uh, let me see first. They came off of a, a GTR. It's a beautiful GTR. I'll show you in a minute. If it doesn't fit. I'm not gonna show you the car. I'm just kidding. Okay, so pretty much. So, there we go. It came off of this one. Beautiful, huh? What do you think? This is a majorette brand. Beautiful GTR. So I put those wheels instead, because as you already saw, eh, they're okay, but not really. And they're rubberized, by the way. But this looks good. All right, so it fit. So now we get to continue the transformation. Oh, by the way, I forgot, I forgot. I forgot to put these decals on the windshield. Put these in the back. See how that goes. Then, of course, with the same little um, shop towel, you dry it, you just damp it a little bit, just dab it a little bit. Now, you know that for this, I need to put clear coat or it's going to fall off. But in the windshield, that's the problem. It does work. I've done it before, but unfortunately, it it works, but it leaves the windshield kind of looking blurry, and I don't like that. So we'll see how this handles, you know. So let's see. Put this away. Like I was telling you guys, you know, once you're done with your, um, you gotta clean up. Once you do your shavings and all that good stuff, you need to clean up. Look at the interior. Look at that. I just put some clear coat. This is the original one. I mean, they're both. I did some customizing as you can see. See the difference? So by putting clear coat, it look, makes it look shinier without putting paint. Okay. Yeah. Put a couple of decals in there, make it look sport. Just the one seater. Here we go. What do you think? Voila. Oh, I'll put it on the turntable later on. Whoa. That is amazing. Amazing. What a transformation, guys. Check that out. It required paint, required clear coat, 
decals, clear coat, and awesome looking wheels. Whoa. What can I say, guys? What can I say? I still don't believe it that I did it. Wow. Well, leave me in your comments. What do you think? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, notification button, and most, most important, share with your friends and family. Um, that way, we could bring the best content into this channel. Because all we're trying to do, all I'm trying to do here, is to create a platform, uh, an audience like yourselves. I appreciate you very much. I'm going to put some uh, screws, by the way. So I do appreciate you very much for watching my videos. And um, obviously because you are customizers yourselves or just collectors like like me I'm a collector I just started doing this not too long ago I, uh, this is uh, to be safe I would say this is like uh, five months that I've been doing this customizing but look at that Oh my goodness. Let me get the camera. I never thought that it was gonna look like this. Wow, white wheels are the way to go with red. No doubt about it. Well, I'm gonna do part two on this one. Hopefully you like it. And I actually, yeah, part two, and I'll do it with this one. Okay, with the Subaru WRX. I'll do a part two. Okay, guys, don't get, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, notifications, be safe, and um, yeah, uh, hit me up on at omayorga75 Instagram, or even on Facebook and TikTok at myorga164, Instagram at omayorga75, Facebook, TikTok at myorga164. All right, guys, stay safe. And see you next time, part two, WRX and the M3. Boom. Bye.